the, the, the changes are effectively that, the proposed changes are effectively that uh, it would effectively outlaw camping within the CBD. Um, and the second plank of it is, as far as I understand it, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is that um, uh, people who are, who may have left their belongings, um, those belongings can be seized and they would need to pay $400 in order to get them back, which is clearly beyond the means of most people who are sleeping on the street. Otherwise, they'd be putting that $400 towards getting a home. Um, and so of those people who you work with who presumably have no capacity mm -hmm. to pay if they have tens of thousands of dollars of, of fines, um, first of all, I've got two questions. One is, what impact do those fines have on their behaviour and mm -hmm. does it deter that anti, what could be seen as antisocial behaviour in the first place? Mm -hmm. And second place, sort of what are you able to do for them mm -hmm. um, given that they have very little capacity to, to pay? Yeah. So in terms of this question of deterrent, it, it's an important one. I think we got a sense from Erica of just what it is like day to day. You're just trying to get by and the decisions you might make are are pretty different to the decisions you'd make if you weren't under those those same pressures. Um, so the the kind of more punitive approach doesn't have the same deterrent effect as if I, for example, get a, a Mikey fine, then I will be really really deliberate in my in my activities from that point. It's a whack for me, but ultimately manageable. But that is not. Um, that kind of decision making, weighing things up, isn't what's happening for most of our clients. And normally they, or not normally, our clients have got a mix of circs, but if they might, if they've entered into homelessness, that makes it really hard to keep your mental health on track and can lead to ex escalating substance use. So um, there can be overlapping factors that are affecting decision making that a fine isn't going to uh, make, make a difference. What we do know is that it increases the stress and increases that or that feeling of being overwhelmed and increases the feeling of humiliation and helplessness. Mm. 